is not the base of a postman preparing to pull. <laughs> I must draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states. <laughs> <laughs> to Magnet Monthly. What's Magnet Monthly? <sighs> the only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, and Admirer, and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Well, sir, I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy fashion, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're gonna be a postman? Nash, Nash. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Nasha. <laughs> Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. Huh? We'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Postman? It's a prototype. All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes News. I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid. Porridge enthusiast. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. Poor Nasher. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, no! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasher can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. Me and Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. And sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? I need you to bring your largest net. <laughs> Oh, 
Why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. Ah, finished! What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs to be sorted pile. See ya! Another wild dog! Yes. Hey! Aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Huh? Oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point! It's doing the job! Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman! With pants! Yes, yes. Hello? Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, sir. Ready. There's a magazine called Magnet Monthly. I know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk! <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> your old job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Nash! Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion then? <laughs> Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh, well. <laughs> Goo! Sabine and Nasha can go and have a goo-filled balloon fight later. Great, eh? 
Oh, Dennis! It's school photo day. You have to stay clean. Stay clean? Me? Oh, yes, Dennis. I want Mum to have a photo of you looking absolutely sparkling. Upstairs, now. Morning, Mr. Um, Walter's dad. Listen, a uh, little favour. You know it's school photo day. Yes, of course. Walter's just had his 13th bath in preparation. He should be clean enough now. Well, after his shower, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, I want Dennis to stay clean too. Uh, thing is, I've got to be rushing off to work now. Well, if Dennis goes to school on his skateboard, he'll get mucky. So, uh, could you take him to school along with Walter? <laughs> what, and have Dennis make a mess in my lovely car? Oh, no, 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 no. It won't do that. You're not going to get yourself <laughs> uh, messy, are you, Dennis? <laughs> hey! Me? Get messy? No, of course not, Dad. <laughs> I'm warning you, Dennis. You better stay clean. If Mum doesn't like the photo, you're grounded for a month. A month? Just if I get dirty? <laughs> Well, that threat seems to have worked very well. Have him wait outside. We'll set off soon. <laughs> oh, thank you ever so much. You know, you, you, you really are too... <laughs> ...kind. <laughs> oh, Dennis. I see you've prepared for the school photo. Rather than smelling of an entire rubbish dump this morning, you only smell of a cow pat. Oh. Oh, oh Dennis, you appear to have some paint on you. Oh, no. Can't out menace a menace, Walter. I'm squeaky clean right now. I know it. No, 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 really. You have some paint on you right to... There. Huh? Ah! Walter! I could get grounded for a month! Oh, sorry, Dennis. I had no idea. You better wash that off then. Oh, don't worry. Dad won't leave until you're in the car with me. You're quite safe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, right, boys. Shall we... Wait. Where's Dennis? Oh, he's in the car already, Father. Yeah, yeah jolly good. Quieter than usual, isn't he? <coughs> ah! Hey, Walter! Wait! <laughs> oh, now how am I going to get to school? Outside any longer, I'm bound to get dirt on me. I can't help it. The only way I'm going to make it to school without getting mucky is if I take <laughs> the bus. The regimental command will love these two ludicrously large and unfeasibly unstable cream ghetto that I can barely keep a hold of. Oops, nearly tripped. Luckily, I didn't. Oh, uh oh, golden menace opportunity ahead! <laughs> uh, can't resist. Must menace. Thanks, Nasha. If I'd have tripped the colonel, I'd be caked in cake. <laughs> ah! The bus! <laughs> oh, next bus isn't here for another hour. OK, Nasha. We're going to have to make it there on skateboard. Oh, brilliant! It's snowing! <laughs> Nash? Hang on. That's not snow. That's... Beautiful gelatos! Oh, 
Yeah. Bless us! Oh, nice work, Masha. <laughs> hey! Oh, looks like we're on foot from here. And there's not much time left. The only way to get to school on time is if we go through... Oh, Peanut Town Park! Uh, uh, maybe I was wrong. As long as I stay on the path, nothing can make me dirty. Ladies and gentlemen, yes? I am happy to present the reenactment of the Battle of Beano Town. From the north came the invading Fulchester army, who were armed with mud pies. <laughs> and to the south, the brave Beano Town defenders, who were armed with custard pies. <laughs> The chances. Now watch the carefully choreographed reenactment of Beano Town's finest hour. <laughs> Next to have their photo taken, Dennis. Perhaps I should go next, Mrs. Creature. Something tells me Dennis won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Walter? Oh, uh, Dennis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you. <laughs> Gosh, look at how clean you are. Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> Um, I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. Um, let's just shake on it. Masha, Walter thinks we should shake. You know what? I agree. Would you do the honour? Nash, nash. <laughs> Ready, Mrs Creature. Uh, all right, Dennis. Smile and arms by your side, please. <laughs> on a timer, your picture will be taken in just ten seconds' time. But, oh, dearie me, I dropped my pen. Well, it's, uh, yeah, well, I, it, it is, I suppose. <laughs> so, no month of being grounded? <laughs> yes! Outside, Nasha! Time for a goo filled balloon fight! <laughs> 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 oh. Our lovely little boy. <laughs> Trio all sound better than us. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. But what's more important than band practice? I don't know. He's been acting weird ever since he started collecting boo bips. What bips? Boo bips. You know, they're on TV. Boo bips are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you collect everyone. All right then. 
So, what do you reckon Curly's up to, then? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Time for Operation Curly Watch. <laughs> cool. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <clears throat> oh, fantastic. Ooh, bits are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you come out. I can't believe it. He's thrown his burger away. He doesn't really want the food. He just wants the boo bit. But why? But what? That's what we're going to find out, Pie Face. Come on! <laughs> News? OK, I'll come over right away. Come on! We've got to follow him! Who's he going to meet? Oh, I hope it's not a girl. <sighs> he's going to your house, then. No, he's not. He's going to... Walter's! <laughs> so, is everything going according to plan, Walter? <laughs> I'll say. I told Curly the cafe was giving away boobips, and he rushed over there right away. Missed band practice again. <laughs> oh, goody. Without Curly, the din makers will be hopeless. <laughs> Even more hopeless than usual. <laughs> exactly. And without them lowering the tone, the understanding Beauted stars of the school concert will be the Walter Chamber Trio. Ha <laughs> 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 Jolly <Stop> good. <laughs> Shh, here he comes. Uh, hello, Curly. Uh, how are you? Uh, OK. Uh, I can't stop. I've got to get home to settle my new boo bip in with his pals. Uh, you said you had some good news? Yes, indeed. Thanks to Father's connections, I shall be taking delivery tonight. And... Can I have a good look at it and and play with it a bit? Of Boo course, Bip, Curly Bob. Yeah, Boo, OK. Uh, but... I don't believe it! Curly and Walter! Friends! <laughs> it's like Walter has got Curly under a spell. Did you hear them talking gobbledygook? Yeah, I couldn't understand it. That's because it was gobbledygook, Pie Face. Oh, right. Anyway... He sounds like Walter's getting something Curly wants, and it's being delivered tonight. And we're going to find out what it is. <laughs> OK, everyone, you know the drill. shouldn't take long. A warm wind boobip! The rarest boobip of all! And now that you belong to me, Mr. Wombwim, I can use you to control that silly boy Curly. This could mean the end of the din makers. And who knows? Perhaps even the end of Dennis! Huh! We'll see about that! <laughs> 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 No problem, Pie Face. I know what Curly wants now, and we're going to make sure he gets one. We are? Yeah. We're gonna make him the best one win boobip ever. Three eyes, eight legs, four wings, and one long tongue. Perfect. <laughs> I found him, Dan. Great. We're ready. <laughs> well, almost. Uh, hi, Curly. Hi, Dennis. Listen, we know you're collecting boo bips. Me? Oh, no way. That's mad. <laughs> Me collect boo bips. <laughs> it's kid stuff. So you'll not want the one win we got you then. Oh, no. Uh, you got me a one whim? Yep. OK, I do collect boobips. And, yes, I'd love to own a one whim. Who wouldn't? Then your wish is granted. Ta-da! <laughs> is this 
a joke. Huh? I collect authorised figures, not fakes. That's not a fake. Yeah, Dan should know. He made it. OK, it is a fake. But it's not the only fake around here, is it, Curly? What do you mean? I mean, you're supposed to be with us, not hanging out with Walter. What? I'm not... Yes, you are. We saw... Hey, since when do I need your permission to hang out with anyone? Wait, Curly! I didn't mean to... Oh, it's no good. If we're to get Curly back with us, we'll have to find him a real one, Wim. But we're still broke, then. And we're running out of time. Don't worry. We'll get the cash. We'll just have to earn it. Not bad for a few hours' work. Easily enough to buy a one win. But then, where are we going to find one to buy? Well, we know someone who's got one, don't we? We'll just make him an offer he can't refuse. Careful! It's very valuable. I uh, know, but this is probably the nearest I'll get to owning one. Well, you can always come and play with it, as long as you behave yourself, of course. Walter, you've got guests. Oh, that'll be Bertie and Dudley. Hang Bip on, Bob Chaps. Oh, oh, it's you. What do you want? We've come to buy your one win. Really? I can't think why you'd want it. We don't. It's for our mate, Curly. I'm sorry, it's not for sale. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you'll change your mind when you see this. <gasps> Goodness. Hang on, Dan. Where'd you get all that money? Oh, delivering magazines. I'm doing gardening. I'm walking dogs. And you did all that just for me? Hey, what are mates for? We wanted everything to be like before. Just the three of us. <laughs> and Asher, of course. You know what? Me too. Come on, let's get out of here. So long, one win boy. What? <laughs> Friends for life. Pity we've got a new drummer. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go practice. The din makers are back in business and ready to rock and roll! I knew it! They've ruined the tone of the whole evening! Well done, son. You certainly rocked out. Played well. Thanks, Dad. It's been a great day all round. Yeah, we're all back together. The concert rocked. And we've still got all that money too. Ah, yes, about that, Dennis. I've had a call from Sergeant Slipper. You have? Yes, about your fundraising efforts. Apparently all the magazines were damaged and you broke a mains water pipe in Mrs Creature's garden and all the dogs had to go to the groomers. And I'm afraid everyone wants full compensation. Well, Mum, that's rock and roll. It. Allergic to his own pet. We'll get Nasha back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. Okay, Dad. 
How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! Brilliant! Uh. Oh, let's do this! Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Uh. Whoa! Watch it, pie face! Sorry. Fallen, fallen! Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir! Dennis, sir! Yes, uh, no, uh, what's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs. So, Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course. He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. Then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Incoming pizza! You better get back to your sick bed. Right! Son. All right. I mean, thanks, Dad. I mean, uh, oh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> oh, must be the uh, all the dog hairs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing Nasha. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but... I miss my slippers being half-chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment's... Peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <sighs> I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? It's time for Plan B. Etc. Oi, you nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! Oh, easy, mate! Help! Help! This dog tried to steal my sausages! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! Oh, oh my face! All right, dog. Let's be having you, you little troublemaker. Right? What the? Oh. Ha! Rough! Rough! Here I am, in the van! Woof! Woof! Best place for you! Naughty sausage thief! Oh. Right, who did that? It was a naughty boy! A very naughty boy! Oh! 
it was, was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground the mints myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, where? Where's it? Coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasha. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a flight of your favourite num nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy sausages. <laughs> 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 And when you've eaten your num nums, Ooh. you can put on your special cozy wozies. <laughs> That's me, dog. <laughs> My precious needlework <laughs> ruined. I'm grateful, mongrel. Uh, I'll choose a new favourite doggy. Oh. Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, love. Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. <laughs> Poor old Nasha, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasha? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. <laughs> 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 